Some dogs and cats cry the blues when it comes to bath time. I mean, they just downright hate it. Yeah, Dr. Jill Rubin with the Mobile Vet Connection joins oh. us from her clinic in Orangevale with tips on getting our pets to enjoy bath time. I love that boxer. What's the boxer's name again? I forgot. This is Diva. Diva, that's right. How could I forget? Well, boxers don't like water very much, do they, Dr. Jill? No, they don't. But you know what? We've worked a lot with her, and she seems to be okay with it. She's a little shy about getting a bath, but we make it fun. We give them cookies and bribery. As you can see, we always make it a positive experience. So that's the key for those of us at home for whom washing the pet is an absolute, uh, you know, misery. <laughs> right. We want to make it a nice experience. We try to brush them out first, let them get used to the brush and just the motion of somebody touching them all over. Then we run a nice warm bath for them and we make sure that they're secure. There's a bath mat in here so that she won't slip. So all those little things can help with the insecurity of being bathed. Um, now, how about cats? I, you know, I, I have to confess we've had a number of cats over the years. I've never given one a bath. They seem to take care of that themselves. How often am I bathing a dog and a cat? Well, it depends on their level of activity. If, of course, they have a skin problem or skin disease, your veterinarian will be able to let you know that depending on their condition. But I like to bathe Diva every couple of weeks just because she's out running. She plays in the river and she swims in the pool. So we want to make sure that she gets nice and clean and gets all the, the dirt and debris off of her. Why don't they like the water? I yeah. mean, is it just <laughs> because they aren't exposed to it when they're little enough? Right. Well, some dogs naturally love the water, but dogs like Diva have a really short coat, and they think, especially in the rain, it hits their skin and it becomes irritating to them. Oh. So they don't like the water. Okay. How about biggest mistake when one is washing one's pet? Well, I think you need to make sure to avoid the eyes. There's little topical ointments you can actually put in or mineral oil that are safe, that are waterproof so that the soap doesn't get in their eyes. And then also we like to put cotton balls in their ears. We'll try this again. Sometimes <laughs> just to protect the, that water doesn't get in that ear canal. <laughs> okay. And, and, uh, and uh, do you recommend using a specific, you know, pet approved thing versus the head and shoulders or the Johnson's baby shampoo? Right. A lot of people make the mistake of using human shampoo, and it's a different pH, so it can dry your pet's skin out. So you want to make sure to use a pet-approved shampoo or the prescription your veterinarian recommends for your pet. Okay. One last thing, and this is maybe just from my house. Well, you have Diva, who is so well-behaved. We had Barney the boxer, and he was just a great dog. He hated getting in the bath, and I discovered I would, get, I would put on a pair of shorts and get in the shower with him and turn on the shower, and there's nowhere to go. He just felt like he was standing in the rain. And he stopped putting up a fight. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Just make sure, again, to avoid the ears with the shower because you get the spray from all over. So you want to make sure they don't get ear infections from that. Yeah, and they, and they squint a lot when you put them in the shower, I would tell you that. <laughs> Dr. Jill, you are always delightful. Yes. Thank you so much for your help this morning and uh, every time we have you on. Check out her website. It's drjill.com, and she's mobile. Dr. Yeah. Jill can come to you. She's fantastic. And it's JYL, just so you know. There you go, drjyl.com, or you can call her up at 916-989-07. I love Diva. 38 Diva. Yeah. Well, yes, as a, a mellow boxer dog. Those are the best. I was going to ask, is Diva just the Diva, just the model dog, or do you think that uh, maybe she's with the dog whisperer? How did she get Perhaps. that dog to well, be? You know, she's a vet. Maybe Diva gets a little shot right when she goes on TV. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm sure she doesn't do that. Diva takes her meds before every bath. We've got a storm.